1140 The Fan. Talking money! And we're back. It's Talking Money with Jeff Tarbell. And we're back. And Jeff Tarbell always says, this hour flies by, and he's right. I can't believe we're almost out of time. This is Colin Grail and Monica Reyes in the studio for a vacationing Jeff Tarbell. We're with Westlake Grail and Glover, financial advisors up in Granite Bay, California. And how you doing? All right, we got a couple uh, answers on the uh, quiz question. The quiz question was, what is the number one performing stock for 2012? Uh, we had a couple. Uh, we had several people text in, and thanks, Phil, for uh, for uh, listening. And same thing for Ken. Uh, <laughs> we had Apple, Chevron, General Motors. Believe it or not, the answer is Sears. Can you believe it? All this talk about Sears shutting down places and, and doing poorly. Sears is the number one stock for, performing stock for this year, up fifty four percent. Wow. And. Uh, and I think that's it's really based on the fact that uh, there's there's a, a lot of speculation that that company is going to be taken private. One of the major stockholders, his name is Ed Lampert, has been buying up stock, and uh, he and his hedge fund and uh, several other of his companies that own shares combined hold about sixty percent of that stock, and uh, so it's up fifty four percent this year. So. Um, you know, I don't know how the stores are doing, but the stock is doing awesome. So I, well, I don't, I don't know if it'll keep that rate up throughout the rest of the year. But uh, you know, for the first three weeks, that's the answer. So, uh, Sean's our winner. Thank you, win- thank you, Sean. And we'll get you some uh, Jim Boy tacos. All right, we got a, Gary's been patiently holding. So, uh, uh, Gary, you there? Yeah. How you doing? Uh, how can I help you? Hey, I had a quick question. If uh, my um, parents didn't take out their RMD last year. Uh, by December 31st, obviously, when they needed to do it. They take it out this month. Um, is it a 50% penalty? Did they just turn 70 and a half last year? No, they're 82. Okay. So you're stepping in to give them a hand now, huh? Yeah, they missed it. They forgot about it. <laughs> okay. Well, so technically you're right. Um, if you miss your required distribution after you've turned 70 and a half, it is a 50% IRS penalty on the amount that you should have taken out. But the IRS is actually fairly forgiving on this issue. So you need to fess up and actually, uh, uh, there's a form you send in. Uh, Your tax preparer can help you do this. You send in the form. You send in the tax. You send in a letter that says, we beg for forgiveness. And your accountant can help you write that. And um, those that I've come across that's happened, I've always gotten the money back. There's no guarantees on that. The IRS um, can decide what they decide. So but, they do have a heart. Yeah, they do, they do on this one. They do on this right. one. So, um, okay, so, but yeah, it, 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 but uh, fessing up, kind of going through the process, and um, every time I've helped a client or a potential client do that, we've been able to get that money back. But um, mm-hmm. you know, I guess I can't guarantee that. Yeah, and I, I think uh, sh- uh, the time is of the essence on that. They do have a heart, but I think it'll only go for so long. So to get that waiver, the sooner you can get that RMD taken care of, the better is what I've heard so as well. Have the RMD sent out? And Absolutely. Then when they do their taxes, write the letter and explain what happened. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And because hey, you, appreciate that. Yep. And you'll take it out and you'll pay. The, the actual RMD will be reported on this year, but you send a form for last year. You know, it, actually, your accountant will help you figure that part right. out. It's, it's, but, it's okay. a waiver. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks for the call, Gary. All right. All right. Good question. Yeah. Those are the little things. As uh, uh, you know, we deal with a lot of senior clients. Some of this stuff gets overwhelming. It's, it's really nice if family members are paying attention and along with their professionals to um, identify when uh, some of the business as usual stuff starts going awry. So uh, uh, it's, uh, they're, they're lucky to have you stepping in there, Gary. All right. Uh, boy, what do we got? We got like two minutes left to... Yeah, but two and a half minutes. What are we going to talk about in two and a half minutes, Monica? <laughs> oh I, I got about two and a half hours worth of stuff sitting in front of me. Uh, <laughs> can, I, can I just throw in two words in case you run out of time? Yeah. Go Niners. Uh, all right. Go Niners. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm voting for uh, all of our local uh, home team here. I'm still a diehard Lions fan, and uh, you can't be a Lions fan without being a diehard since it's been 20, 30, I don't know how many years <laughs> since uh, we at least got to see one playoff game, though. So. Uh, so I'll be watching and rooting all the Niner fans on uh, uh, also. 
All right. So retirement planning, you know, it's a big topic. Um, I guess our message here is there's a lot to think about. People are out of the easy, making easy money um, mode and they're actually back to saying, what do I control? What do I need to do? And I think a couple of the big things when I say, okay, what gets in people's way from a comfortable retirement or not a comfortable retirement or what really instills this fear? Number one is we see more and more people that have debt loads in their 50s going into retirement in their 60s and 70s um, versus previous generations. So what can we do to help you get into a position to be debt-free or as close to debt-free as we can by retirement? When we look across our retired clients, those who have no debt rarely have any financial problems. They, they're, every month they wake up to a, a, a group of small bills and what they um, choose to spend money on after that is totally optional. So, ma- so managing debt. We run into a lot of people that say, you know, why in the heck would you pay down debt at today's rates? I saw a thing yesterday, record low, uh, lowest, lowest record debt, 3.88% on 30-year mortgages. Well, um, if you're going to pay those mortgages out of an investment portfolio that's fluctuating, it's very uncomfortable when it's a down market. All right, so uh, what do we got, Chris? 30 seconds? 40 seconds. Wow, that, that just keeps going faster and faster. So, so you know, I guess as we're getting wrapping up here, I'd like to give a big thanks to Jeff Tarbell. Um, for those of you who are regular listeners, uh, you know, I know I appreciate everything Jeff does. He's a great advisor, a great partner to our firm. Um, I know he's provided a lot of education, and he's very available. If you call him back, and that would be include today, feel free to give him a call <laughs> at 916-718-5171, or you can email him at jefftarbell.com. Uh, I'm Colin Grail. This is Monica Reyes. If you'd like to reach us, you can reach us at 677-1640. And as Jeff always says, aloha. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs>